At this time, I would like to welcome 35 incredible dancers to the stage who will be performing in our Masters of Dance Arts Improv Competition. If you hear Miss Danielle say number, fill in the blank here, thank you, that's your cue to exit, and you're gonna exit that way. I don't appreciate another mother who owns a dance studio coming into my dressing room and telling me her opinion of my kids. Kalani, now's your chance. Kira, your kid better prove you right. She's gonna go into that improv competition and she's gonna beat the crap out of Ava. Yes, you knew. It was all Thank you, number 13. Number 34. Number two. The ALDC team can hold their own. If Maddie doesn't win it, Kalani will. And if Kalani doesn't, Chloe will. I think all of our kids are better than Ava, and this will shut her mom up. If you hear your number, please join me at the front of the stage. Number 25. Number 8. And number 11. Very nice job, dancers. Backline, I'm sorry. Very nice job. You guys can exit the stage. Thank you. Maddie got eliminated before Chloe and Kalani. However, I'm just glad that Ava was eliminated. Congratulations to our finalists. We are going to have you guys dance one more time. Chloe made the top three of the improv, and to me, that's a win. Not only did she beat Ava, but she beat Maddie. And that just goes to prove that when Chloe's given a chance, she can dance. The one that who should be worried is Kira, because she guaranteed Abby that if Kalani were given the chance, she'd take first. opportunity. That was a great chance for her to get on stage and show everybody that she belongs on the ALDC's Junior Elite Competition team. Chloe, you did a lot better in the improv than I would have thought. You just can't repeat. They saw you turn. They saw you nail the turns. You don't want to do them again and do them not as good as you did them the first time. Do you understand? Christy, get rid of the attitude. I don't have an attitude. I'm responding to you. Look at your face you. right now. You have an attitude. Let's go. You have an attitude with being on this team. No, Abby, I have an attitude with you. And that's only going to hurt you in the long run. No, it's not. Sorry, Chloe. Sorry, I know. You just really look out for the best for her. I think Abby has found that if she just keeps digging at me, maybe she'll be able to get rid of me. Well, you know what, Abby? I'm not going to give you that satisfaction. Keep pointing in my face, sweetheart. Keep it up, keep it up. Get out of my face. You're rude and you're nasty. You are the Turn rudest around. and nastiest person on the planet. Really? And I'm not afraid of you. I know that you want to put this onus on everyone, that you're this big, bad thing. I'm not afraid of you, Abby. I'm not. I'm not a big, bad thing. I'm an artistic. Oh, I know. You're I an do angel. brilliant work. You are like putting silk stockings on a mule. You and you are nothing. putting lipstick you on a have bag. nothing. I have more class on my little finger than your entire pathetic family. OK, yes. Abby, keep telling yourself that. Including your mama. Keep yeah. telling yourself that. Yeah, who doesn't speak to their mother? That's insane. You know why I don't speak to my mother? Why? Because she's like you, a 
psychopath. I will not back down to you. I won't. 